picture about energy. Now. Delegates attending the sixth mining and infrastructure in Daba heard that the biggest impediment holding back growth of the key mining sector was aging infrastructure, in particular energy, rail and road networks. Zimbabwe's mining sector was tipped to grow by 10% in the first half of the year, but has instead registered minus 1.9% growth on the back of erratic power supplies that have reduced output of major minerals. Government is, however, attempting to address the situation by roping in private players. Energy, as you know, being an enabler, requires uh, uh, a lot of uh, support uh, in terms of uh, investment. And uh, once you have your energy uh, provision, even outstripping the demand, you can still be able to sell off your power to other uh, neighbors uh, within the region. And we think that that will be the sort of key thrust to invite capital into energy and probably more to do it through PPPs, uh, where you no know, private sector can come in and uh, build uh, some of the energy generating assets. But the country could already be missing out on potential projects. We believe that for progress to be registered, significant progress, there is scope for PPPs in the road transport sector. There is work in progress to put a legal framework for the PPPs. Yes, we have had some PPPs already in the country, but the negotiations outside any legal framework are a bit difficult. Experts say government should explore innovative financing options like bonds to meet its part of the deals. Last year, Finance Minister Patrick Chinamasa said he planned to raise at least $8 million to fund hydropower plants through bonds targeted at Zimbabweans in the diaspora who remit an estimated $2 billion a year. The bond is yet to hit the market, but could go a long way in funding an impending overhaul. We are actually in the final stages of appointing a consulting house that we will work with to do a transport master plan for the country. There has been one, but it's obviously outdated. The idea is that the transport system of the country should be intermodal, and the various modes of transport should be able to talk to each other and complement each other. Zimbabwe is already upgrading a number of national highways and is set to complete the expansion of the Victoria Falls Airport to international status next year. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.